being a month out from the release date of Shadow of the Earth Tree for the Elden Ring expansion, Bandai Namco decided to release a story trailer for the DLC, and we're about to go ahead and take a look at this. So without further ado, let's get it. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. Mikula the Kind? An okay. affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow born. Okay, this train looked nice. Seemed like that'd be a what nice little environment. What followed was a war unseen. And a Pillsbury Fudge? One that could never be put to song. Why does it look like everybody have rivers of blood? A purge without grace. The tyranny of Mesmus Flame. Mesmus Flame. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. Mm. I'm starting to think there might be another DLC after this one. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his faith. And it's June 21st, most definitely, most definitely picking up. I still need to do like my PlayStation 5 run through of Elden Ring. I platinum did on PS4. I'm gonna platinum it on PS5 before the expansion come out. But let me just say this, cause there was a couple of things that I noticed. Um, number one, number one, I think, uh what's the old boy's name that's here i believe his name is mesmer or whatever i do remember like something about this guy in particular like he was going to be the main boss or somebody mentioned that somewhere um if not i'll probably have to do my research or whatever but i do remember like the first trailer they were making it seem like this is the main like antagonist of of the dlc now, the reason why I, I said that I think there's going to be two DLCs, because if we're looking for Mikula, right, because that's what it sounds like, we're on the path to find Mikula to, to figure something out, get something done in particular. And then you're saying like Mikula falling into like whatever that abyss was. I think that once we get to the end of this DLC, we might actually meet up with Mikula somewhere. And then that's going to be like the start of the second DLC, if they decide to do two. For all I know, they probably could have like, like Mikula, like r actually be at the end, you know, kind of like what they did with uh, uh, Radagon and how like you fought him. That's what they might do for Mesmer. Like you fight him and then Mikula pops up like after him, but he's supposed to be like the other illegitimate child of, uh, 
America and Mick, uh, and Radagon, I think. So, or like, not, not necessarily a triplet, but like the brother of Mikola and Melania. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going like turn out. But, um, yeah, I do think there's going to be two DLCs. I think they're going to play it a lot. Like I, Mikola is going to be the main baddie of the next game. If, if he is capable of fighting. But given how, like, people are making it seem how strong Mikola is, or at least the people that's within the lore of Elden Ring, I do think that he's either going to have his own game or he's going to be, like, the Elden Beast of this game. But, uh, yeah. I do want to say I'm, I'm really excited for this. More Elden Ring is always a plus in my book. And June 21st. We're going to be there.